Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Narf. Hi. So, uh, I I just did something and I heard you go, okay, so I'll explain it. <laughs> the wish where, if you just wish where without a question mark, it tells you a little more. Uh, but with the question mark, it just tells you the zone that you're in. If you notice in the chat log, it printed uh, 791, which is, I'm at, you know, X, Y location in this map of 79 comma 1, 0, 0 being the upper left-hand corner, 79 comma 24 being the lower right. Okay. Right? Then I'm in Jopa World, and I'm in the second parasang from the left, or, you know, 0, 1, 2, so third parasang from the left, 19th or 20th, rather, from the top, you know, third zone in that parasang from the left and right. Okay. So this is like my X dot Y on the world map, my X dot Y within that parasang, and then the height, 10 is surface. So you're below just, 10. Are you just trying below, to figure out what, like, if you're on an even or odd? Yeah, if I, I was counting whether or not I was on an even or odd, because I was wondering if we'd been actually combing the desert thoroughly or not, if I had missed any spaces, right? Uh, so by doing that, 2.2 is actually, you know, uh, 2 times 3 plus 3, basically. So this is the ninth zone from the west side of the screen, which means we were on an odd and an even, which is what we should be. Nice. So I have managed to only get a little off track and then fix myself. We didn't miss anything. Nope. We're doing the whole dang desert. We are. In record time. Ooh. More legendary birds. Well, you're, it's time friendly. You're super friends with birds. Yeah. Hated by villagers. Hated by winged mammals, huh? That's an odd one. Yeah, it is, right? Um, how friendly with birds are we? I think we're, like, so amazingly friendly with birds that we're going to kill this bird. <laughs> Which I know doesn't make any sense, but, like, it's a game, okay? That's a lot of things you're going to have to kill. Yep. It's a good thing I've got a whole posse. Well, that's that. Jesus. I'm just standing here trying to put myself out while the posse deals with him. All right, cool. Oh, hey, we Minstrel got a token. minstrel's token and a floating glow sphere. Birds usually drop the minstrel's token, right? Yeah. We got some wine, too. And some spine. Both the fruit and also the dong glider. Well, I, I don't know, actually. Does the tail... Is tail technically part of the spine? I don't know. I think it meant... I, I think it depends on species. I do know... Uh, Technically, when the tail starts on a snake. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I, got shot, I got shot by my own temporal clone and dropped my gun. What happened to your gun? Wait, don't... Hmm? Do you, you didn't have a special gun, right? It was just a... No, yeah. Wait, what? I thought you did a... Oh, right. It's the um, pistol. No, ability. we took off the laser. We took off the laser pistol because we didn't want to ash... Right. Okay. All these dong glider tails because... Even though they're just like heavy, re like preserved dong glider tails are ri ridiculously expensive for a zero weight item. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed that, but you can make a lot of money just selling dong glider tails after you've gotten done. Yep. No, dong glider is like super good in the early game for making bank. Dong glider feather. I uh, have questions. Yeah. I think dong gliders actually have like feathered wings. I don't know. I could buy it. Is that just like pull in from like the context? Like you can grab a feather from any of uh, like winged mammals or winged animals. Probably. Pulled the one, the only one that didn't make sense or totally did make sense. We'll never know. Canon is subjective, maybe. We usually try to fix those bugs if they get reported, but also we're not like out looking for them. I wouldn't even bother to report that. I do like the, uh, they saw, notice there's a mod now that makes Mad Poles part of the frog faction. Nice. That's pretty good. I mean, it does make some kind of sense, right? If you assume that Mad Poles are baby frogs, they're just mad. My, my only gripe with that is if they are, then we're the horrifying frogs that dismember you and... Well, that's the thing is, like, arm. that's just their protection and their tadpole phase right like when they become frogs then they're super chill oh so they're like paradoxical frogs yeah they just jump around <laughs> they learn to jump around from their young because otherwise they're gonna lose their legs that's right they're yeah. just little guys that want to rip your arms off these are all garbage 
Oh, we had Spicer now. We can start making three three ingredient meals. Heck yeah. I think one of the things that, like, like I kind of love the cooking system in Cud, but I also, uh, I think at a certain point, it's just kind of, like, overwhelming to continue to cook. And eventually I just get bored of, like, making new recipes and I just cook whatever I've got. I'm not even, like, thinking about it. I'm just like, I'm just going to randomly cook some things. See, uh, maybe you land on something you like, and then you can make a note of that for future yeah, run. Yeah, exactly. But I, I'm not, like, out there looking at the table of, like, all the possible outcomes. I just know the ones I like. For me, I just wanted to know, like, a certain number of very good condition triggers, and then I can experiment with the rest. Yeah. And actually, on this run that we did together, uh, I learned about Mirror Dust, which is actually great, because I didn't yeah. realize that that was way it more effective. A really good condition trigger. Yeah. But, um, I mean, like, some, I have to believe that some of those condition triggers, the weird ones, are actually quite useful if you have the right kind of mutation. You know, like, you know, every time you get set yeah, on yeah, fire, yeah. you heal. Yeah. yeah, no, well, like, whenever you deal fire damage is really easy if you have Flaming Ray, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Uh, you just just we, drop them. We, drop. we did drop. We did draw with that box. Yeah. Yes, we did. Wait. All right. Hold on. Where are we? Okay. Yeah. The other thing I'm doing is like I'm going up here, and I know that northeast. I'm doing like northeast. I'm doing east of this column and the west of the other column, right? Yeah. So I used to do it like this, just because like this is a pretty quick way to do it. But also, then I realized that if you don't bother going left and right like this. You can save yourself a lot of, wait, am I going the right direction? Moments. Just, just uh, every time you explore a zone, mark it in your journal. Yeah, right. There you go. Actually... That wouldn't add like an hour just pressing J alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get to do the auto-explore jig now. Ooh. Friends to fungals. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, okay, that's just a friend of fungi. Heck yeah. I was a little worried that there might have been a legendary there. We'll be a little carefuler. Fuller is good. Ooh, Wine Weep. Good find. Wine Weep is a decent find. Not sure. I, I know that cider adds quickness to meals, but I can't remember what wine adds. I don't know. Go look it up. All right. You're you're playing support, right? You're the one. You're the one that isn't playing the game. You can look things up on the wiki for me. All right. Caves of Cud wiki. Here we go. Support. Yeah. Uh, effects. I mean, this yeah, this this works for me because then I get to learn something. Did you ever play uh, any of the Niantic phone games like Ingress or Ingress was cool? This is not ringing a bell. So it's a game based on like your GPS. So you uh, you know Pokemon Go and kind of how it works, right? Right. Like it's based on your GPS. You walk around, you go to places, you know, monsters spawn, etc. Ingress kind of farmed the database for Pokemon Go to exist. Uh, by being a game that was about visiting places with, like, significance, and that was measured by, like, people taking pictures of, like, historical signs and buildings and, you know, documenting things, and all these things turned into the gems in Pokemon Go. But Ingress was cool because it was, uh, the way the game played, like, you would take over these points of interest, and then if you had the key to another point of interest and there was no line blocking you, you could draw a line between that point of interest and the other one you had a key for. And if you drew a triangle between three of them, you would create a field. And like, so the game was like two teams like creating fields for like control. Uh, it was pretty fun. This sounds really cool, actually. Is it? Yeah, it was like super cool. Is this something you can just like get on Google Play or? Yeah, it's just on yeah on your phone. I'm I'm uh install this tonight. <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it's as cool as it used to be, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, I anyway, I played the hell out of that game. I kind of used it. So I used to do a lot of traveling for my work, uh, because I would go around place to place to speak at conferences and attend conferences. So I was basically in a new city all the time. And I would use it as a way to kind of go out and explore, like, parks and shit in the city. Because, like, those were places where there were always a lot of uh, spots. I, I don't remember what they were called in Ingress. Uh, but, you know, there were a lot of these spots that you could go to and, like, you know, hack them and collect the keys and 
play a little mini game and meet people in each town and like go out with them and do like a you know like a farming mission where like everybody shows up and levels the thing up to the max level so people can get stuff you know this is legit i like this a lot yeah. there were a lot of really cool stories that came out of that for me uh we so did some pretty fun things wine doesn't do anything by the way <laughs> apparently right. didn't realize I, we're, killing, we're killing we're, this antelope. yeah we're killing this yeah. antelope we're killing this antelope for sure. And then I started multiplying and blasting. Should I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. What are you doing? I'm just gonna try man mode, hold down the button. Wow. I just go crazy with the news. Ooh. See who wins. Oh. The rhino or the new. <laughs> the hug it. The, the horned rage. What's that game called? Um, hold on, I'll open this up. It's like Total Battle Simulator. I, I have it. Totally accurate battle simulator, except it's Caves of Cud. Yeah. What are we... Oh, we got a bloody weird artifact. There's a, good, nav. there's a good mod idea. Speaking of Pokemon-ish, is a, a, a artifact or gadget that could let you capture a, a, a creature. That yeah, could be fun. I guess that's the same as Beguiling. Except Beguiling, um, the, my least favorite thing about like either... Uh, like making any friends in Cud is they're just doomed. Well, I mean, they're doomed or, like, they're doomed to kill you. One of the two. Right, yeah. Because the AIs are not that smart. So if, you, if, you're, if you're listening and you like the idea of a Pokemon mod, here, here's, what, here's how you pull it off. Is you have to actually target an enemy, like any, of the, any monster that is aggressive to you. And then you use your activated uh, Pokeball, or whatever you want to call it, Cud Ball. And then you... Why not just make it a thrown weapon that, like... Ah, oh, dude, it's just a thrown weapon that emits, like, a love beguiling effect. Well, I was, gonna, I was saying that, um, like, when you already have a captured one, so you can yeah, train yeah. it. Either train it to have it fighting random dong gliders and stuff, or, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like that, like, a th thrown, it basically works like a grenade. You yeah, probably yeah. just, like, copy the love grenade. Love grenade. Yeah, love gr grenade, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. Train grenade, I don't Speaking know. Speaking of grenades, mm. eh, it's only Mark one. Do you it's like one of the them? most useful grenades. No, I probably should have <sighs> cooked a banana, but you know. Unoptimal. <laughs> I don't really care about making Mark 1 grenades. I'll come back when I get a Mark 3. I actually, this is a, a, a difference of play style. I actually prefer Mark 1s in some ways, only because they're cheaper to make, so I can make more of them. Yeah. And then I can, like, m better control a situation. Like, if I can make five freezing grenades, but I can only make one mark three freeze grenade i'll make five mark ones yeah just so i can like keep an eye on things mark threes just last so much longer i'm not used to being friends with oozes i'm used to having to kill off the oozes before it'll let me auto explore it yeah friends to oozes has got to be one of my favorite reputations to get that's um almost I usually just kind of go with the flow of whatever the game gives me you know like that's really all you can do you can't really like plan for it i mean you kind of can but you got to be playing some like five head caves of code. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we can, uh, that's actually a decent one. Heat resist and can use intimidate. I know it doesn't seem that cool, but heat resist is always nice. Yep. And intimidate is actually a really good answer to things like stat sap. If they do get close enough to you, being able to just yell at them. <laughs> Menacing stare, intimidate. Does it work on slimes? I think it works on anything. I only recently found out that you can uh, proselytize an ooze and proselytizing any of the oozes from uh, Rainbow oh. Wood. Just some OP nonsense. Yeah, if you get one of those. I love that they just decide to jump because, <laughs> I don't know, something is making the AI be like, I want to jump now. I have the ability. I'm going to do it. So every now and then our friends just like have this little jump party right before they disappear. And it's hilarious. I don't know how many times... You've caught that so far, but it's cracked me up every time. That's really good. Oh, yeah. One thing I was going to mention this. Uh, we can mention it on camera, but, you know, I, I, which is uh, you're totally going to need to, like, DM me any comments that you think I'm going to want to reply to or that are particularly <laughs> hilarious because there's no good way for. And this is something that I think kind of sucks about YouTube. There's no good way for, like, a viewer to say, I just want to be notified of comments on this video. Yeah. 
Like, I can't follow comments, and I assume you'd get notified of all new comments. You'd think that, but, but I not. have to check. Oh, you have to go manually and check every video for new comments? Well, okay, so I have, like, a YouTube, um, like, studio section where I can click on comments, and it'll show me all the new comments that have appeared on all my videos. Um, so it's a nice way of, like, looking. But, like, no, I don't get notified when I get... Uh, oh, wow. I used to get emailed because it was a rare occurrence, and now it's a little bit more common. So I guess Google, you know, like, uh, you don't want to get emailed every time you get a comment. I'm like, no, actually, I do. Let me know. Yeah, like, at worst case, I'll just uh, make it go to a folder that I can then use to, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of wanted to get rid of some of the heavier things we've been carrying. You've got some really good stuff, and we still have an Eater's Nectar Inject. Yeah. We'll have to use Should that we? at the end of this episode. Should we cook it? We, uh, I guess, I guess so. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, so this guy doesn't have really anything that we want to buy. Uh, and so I don't think we can even... I was thinking maybe we could get rid of some weight here, but I think we're going to end up... Yeah, let's just not trade with him at all. I did notice while we were down here that we had an unidentified... Well, oops. Disassemble the small trinket. What the heck that is option, that? That option... So what happened there was I went to go replace cell, remove cell, but I accidentally hit disassemble cell. <laughs> so we just disassembled the oops. Oops. Anyway, one of the things about cooking with nectar is, uh, again, I, I very much don't, I'm not, I'm not, uh, so, so this is no judgment in my states at all. I really don't uh, play on roleplay mode like ever. Right. Um, I only generally play this game as a pure roguelike, though I also play because I'm a developer. Uh, I play without it deleting save games when I die because that's one of the, you know, most annoying things that can happen when you're trying to test something. Like, you know, <laughs> you you die accidentally and then, you know, you got to set that character all up again. So it's nice to be able to continue. And occasionally... When I'm playing a game and really enjoying a character, I'll just save scum a little bit. But, like, after I've died twice, like, and I usually only save scum when it does some really, really mean stuff to me. Like, if I walk around the corner into eight rocket turrets, like, I'll take the reload on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just feel like, okay, okay, <laughs> you got me, like, holding up my hands in the air. You got me. Let's uh, let's pretend that didn't happen, and I'll just keep playing and having fun with this character that I was having fun with. But as soon as that happens, like, twice to the same character, I'm like, okay, whatever. Let's just try another one. <laughs> you know? For me, um, like, it's it's honestly just a practical reason why I don't do that, is I, I want to get better at the end game. <laughs> yep. And I can't get better at the end game if I die. <laughs> um, and I was getting to the point where I was so set in stone Ooh. and, like, playing the early game oh that sucks nothing so, happened we've gotten two of those so far i mean two nothing happens uh no oh, like two two plus, two plus six. sixes yeah. yeah plus six out of how many we've well, used six I think? plus one alls yeah we made it to the top we started from the bottom now we're here <laughs> now we're going the other way and now we're gonna cut through the corner of the six day i think oh no not yet we're doing the center and east now Ugh. Mm. I'm just going to blow up my EMP grenades. We're friends with robots now. Just making sure. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to do this uh, two things at a time. It's it's really... It's, it's really it's working out it's, for us. It's a lot of cognitive load, though, and it makes it harder for me to chat, which is interesting. <laughs> well, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that. That is true. Um, I mean... I got to remember, like, okay, I want to go right... So go down left. I I actually I feel like you're making this harder on yourself in some ways. What I usually do is just like walk down the very line and then just like do a peek on the other side and then come back and that way you always know you're on the left side. I see what you're saying. But then like if you've been on the right side for a while and like you don't remember if you were on the right side. Oh yeah, I've, I mean I've done that, but I also don't try and one hundred percent assault to. <laughs> I not really uh mostly because I know that at a certain point the dunes are not gonna be fun for people to watch. Like to play This is true. To play cud optimally, you'd wanna one hundred percent all of the swamp and the salt dunes, and maybe even 
like some of the canyons at a certain point once you've done everything else for all the villagers or villages and like mm -hmm. and at that point i'm like i no <laughs> i can't i do mean that. you don't actually have to like 100 percent it you can get all those informations from like you can just start visiting stuff in your journal you know yeah no that's that's definitely true like that's what you do at that point like you don't have to 100 percent it this oh and just... I, I would never in a million years consider 100 percenting the canyons i'll die on classic mode before i uh i consider such all right we need to just uh as long as we're right here <laughs> we're gonna take a little step over here and drop off some books even though books isn't really the thing that's weighing us down now well we still have a lot of books look at all those illuminated books jeez bond bottom one and a half inches <laughs> <laughs> trick so, i suppose no what what we could do is we could just not trade these two books right all right and then give them their own pile like here trying not to wreck <clears throat> that's pretty books. good and then we can just drop heck yeah yeah there we go are I we think we have some books we have <laughs> are we going for uh quad digits I mean, not necessarily. We're just probably level 30. I mean, I think we should go for quad digit. I mean, you say that. <laughs> but at a certain point. We're only level 23. What, what, what did you just say about your, uh, my, ooh. Okay. Here. Gee. Here. The luck on this, I mean, I, listen, uh, not, not saying you're not playing well, but this is a blessed run. Just up and having, getting neutron flux. We have a there you have a really bad stilt except you got a you got you know a guy yeah. i know is a guy that sells some neutron flux you know i could uh i was uh, just thinking i could you did this last time i thought yeah yeah go ahead no um i could actually probably afford it though i'm just thinking <laughs> i'm wondering if it's worth because like i need to get rid of weight anyway right right so I'm wondering if it's worth just buying the neutron flux, even though I could save, you know, 1,600 drams. Yeah, I mean, what's a dram? I mean, that, that it's 5, 1,500 of them, but yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like we're, we're we're like hold on, let's just let's just let's 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 look at. Okay, so we want to get rid of the melee weapons. We don't really care about the traveling rod of Ubermor. We're never going to use it. Uh, electro bows are kind of heavy. Uh, let's get rid of the beaded bracelets, the copper nugs. Yeah, I mean, you're already there. Yeah. Our slender metal folding chairs. Oh, uh, no, we can't get rid of those. There are emergency sea bits. Yeah, I mean, so we can already buy this. And we haven't even gone into the, like, that was just some heavy money. Chem cell uh, reservoir. Let's, yeah, I mean, I say we trade our heavy money for a dram and neutron flux. All right. Yeah, let's do it. If we end up needing our money back, we can always come back and the back of my guy yeah well that's what i'm saying is i mean like we don't care about money we can always just like do what you were gonna do to that guy to anyone that has stuff that we need and we can't afford yeah. oh there's some soul curd there is some soul curd let's speak of the soul the lag curd. Too. let's grab the gaster paste continue to manifest into the random channel uh if only there was some brain brine sorry let me let me do that right if only there was some brain brine yeah right manifest fungicide pump Nah, it was like one Kim cell worth of food. Thanks. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure what like horrifying enemies. Wait, like, this guy didn't reset. I'm not sure what kind of. It like, says he uh, restocked, but this is like the same shit he had last time, right? Gesticulating, fitted with filters. I don't think he had fitted with filters. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he didn't have night force bracelet. Interpolator. He definitely didn't have force bracelet because I would have. He had night sight. One. He had night sight. He oh, did yeah, that is a force sight. bracelet. That's, that's a force bracelet. This is bracelet. true. Because I would have been like, whoa, a force bracelet. Force bracelet is kind of ultimate cheese territory. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know if I know the ultimate cheese. I mean, you can just go up to the world map with the force bracelet on. And just then, like with wings. And or then, you can recoil. Oh, I see. Force bracelet recoiler because it marks you as out of combat. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I oh. mean, that's like, that's the, the like the true escape from almost any situation you can't do it with normality in a, like a normality field you'd have a hard time because uh the force fields have a hard time with yeah. normality yeah mm. it is some, it is some cheese it's also just good i mean right now we're kind of playing a melee get in their face and punch them build so it's kind of not that 
big of a deal for us. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, we need like. Oh my god. Uh, seventy-five of those. We need a hundred of them. Man, ninety-five. Oops. Oh, I guess. Uh, and then we don't. We don't want a hundred and sixty drams. Yeah, we don't need to carry that much water. We want to have some room to hold some water. If we find any. There's the sad bear. I forgot he was roaming around. I oh, hey. congealed rubber gum. Pick up some pickles. So I know you like your pickles. I don't understand why pickles are good. I don't think they are. I don't know. Aren't they just the same as vine wafer sheaf? I don't know. They just they have a nice tile. I like that tile. I I won't All lie. Right. The pickles tile is real nice. I think that was it for things we need to check in this stilt because this is the worst stilt I think I've ever seen. <laughs> You bought Neutron Flux from it. I mean, I usually get at least one Neutron Flux out of the stilt. I have I rarely get Neutron Flux out of my stilts. You must not visit it enough. Dang. Unoptimal. What is our cap of the plate deal? <laughs> oh, that was our... It was just a normal mining cap that we named. Yeah. Cap of the Platinum Nomad. Let's say, I think we named that. All right. We were over here somewhere. Were we doing... We were doing... Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you walk into a new tile and kill a spider. I always love when that happens. When you start accidentally killing things from across the... Do I have to... had that happen and, like, murdered a legendary before. That's really good. Uh, what are you going for? I have no clue. At this point, I'm just picking random stuff and pressing go. My... I mean, I usually try and do um, bone meal, hulk honey, and skulk. Until I get the dream, but this I don't is know actually pretty can... nice. Never take the damage as an eight. Oh wow! Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. That was uh spine fruit. No, it was healed rubber gum. Yeah, it was like huh. congealed Hulk, congealed rubber, congealed salve. Okay, the salve also has a whenever you take damage, I believe. Yeah. So you got lucky on getting that with the Hulk honey, which also has a increase plus eight da uh, strength whenever you, you know. Uh, triggered effect mm -hmm. and then what was the last effect oh yeah electric ele electric Just resistance electric resistance i debatably one of the best resistant imo hardest to get to cold and fire are pretty easy to get yeah people can only take so much of the combing the desert <laughs> he says well, gonna... How many hours of combing the desert do you normally do per playthrough? Well, now I actually try to avoid it entirely, um, just because I know I will get into a rut where I will I'll do like whole episodes of of combing the desert. So that probably le leads to my runs being like harder for me because then I don't get the necessary yeah, you reputation. Don't, you don't ever farm up the rep or the uh, uh, honestly, it's the dawn glider trail. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's so much money. Um, I make up the money from ruin diving. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways. you. There's a, other things you could do. Ruin diving to me is like my now equivalent to um, to doing the desert. It's harder, but like it's more interesting. And you find more like things. Mm -hmm. Whenever you reflect damage, there's a 50% chance. You, that's a garbage. Oh, you know what? That would actually be great if you wore the rainbow weave cloak. If you wear a quartz fur, yeah. Wait, quartz or rainbow weave. Quartz is quartz fur uh, another one that reflects. I think quartz fur also has uh, reflect. I don't know. You're playing support. <laughs> I generally don't look up items that I don't know about. Hold on, but I will make an exception. Quartz fur cloak. Um, negative one hundred reputation with baboons. Plus six to all resistances, and then reflects five percent damage back at your attackers rounded up. What is a rainbow? Uh, I guess I can just look. Rainbow weave only refracts light, and it's refract, not reflect. So it like it changes the direction of the bullet when it hits you instead of. It says they, it sends them back the way they came, plus or minus yeah. up to 120 degrees. Okay, so they could they have a very they have basically no chance of uh, hitting the attacker. But uh, well, I mean, the middle of that variance is the where the attacker is. Right, but so you have a one in hundred and twenty chance after a fifty percent chance. Uh, well, I mean, do you think that they're more than one degree? How many degrees do you think that the tile makes up? Well, if you think about it, there's only three hundred and sixty degrees. So you're talking about 
basically two thirds. Are we enemies to our? No. Okay. No, no, we just. uh That was strange. We just got. We just got shot. Normal things. We don't have anything on our face right now. On our right face. Oh. We're wearing the sun mask on the other one. We lost our moon mask at one point. I, I thought we got an extra one, but it was. So hold on, wait a minute. Going back to that meal for a second. That uh, whenever whenever you reflect a damage or reflect, mm -hmm. um, would that work with the rainbow weave or is no. it? No, no, it wouldn't because it's refract. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What a bummer. Yeah, I mean, I imagine we could find someone that'll give us. But hey, we're actually at the end of our episode. Do you want to cook with um, neutron flux after? I guess we can we can come up with I mean, another yeah, random can, one. Uh... We can just leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> See, now, again, this is me saying, if I was playing this game on the stream, I would do this anyway. Yeah. Just from having a neutron flux, and I don't know why I'm mixing it with any other ingredient. Let's uh, eat it with some crab jerky and some worm jerky, just because. Heck yeah. All right. But I would Good. do this anyway, even on, even on a game that I was, like, enjoying. If I was really enjoying it and it was pretty late game, I would probably save my neutron flux till like a moment where I felt like I really needed extra AV. Right. All right. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this, more salt dunes, more combing the desert. And uh, eventually. I promise we'll only do one more row. We've got everything we need. <laughs> Eventually we'll we'll do we'll, we'll Bethesda Asusa for sure. See you guys next time. We got the recoiler. We don't even need to walk. <laughs> yeah.